guys, today is a bit of a different video from me. So if you guys have seen recently, I was just in Mexico with Pure Cosmetics and BoxyCharm on a brand trip, my first ever one. <laughs> if you guys have not seen it yet, I will link the vlog up here. It was so much fun. It was the highlight of my life, best trip I've ever been on. But while I was gone, my sister was taking care of my house and I came home to a plethora of PR packages. Now, if you don't know what PR is, basically companies and brands will send out product to YouTubers, influencers, in hopes that we will show the products in our videos and they can gain some exposure or they can people can learn about new products. So um, a lot of times I don't have a chance to feature these in my videos uh, because there's just a lot of stuff where I open the boxes as they come, but now I have a bunch of stuff, so I'm gonna show this to you. I'm also going to be doing a haul and try on today for ThreadUp. This portion of the video is gonna be sponsored by ThreadUp. If you guys don't know who they are, I'll explain them to you briefly, but I knew about them beforehand and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a video with them and I was like, you know what? I've already looked on their website. I've seen what they're all about. I think it's really cool. So if you guys do not know, ThreadUp is an online clothing thrifting company. So basically it's instead of going to thrift stores and having to rifle through everything, you can just sort everything so easily online. For me, I love shopping at thrift stores. I'm all about buying things secondhand, but I don't do it as often as I'd like because I find the whole process. I mean, it's kind of fun if you like to go sift through things, but for me, I just kind of want to see what's going to work for me and go from there so it's really nice because you can sort by brand you can sort by size you can sort by color and they have a lot of really nice brands on there as well like a lot of the stuff that I've gotten here I've got some Calvin Klein I've got Guess I've got H&M so you can definitely get things from nice brands and you can sort that way if that's how you want to do it but you can also sort by size and for me I find that to be the most helpful because what I don't want to do is rifle through a bunch of clothes find something that I really love it's in an extra small and I'm like cool. That's not the case for here. So I just put in my size on the website and it only showed me things that were going to fit me. I tend to buy things in a large or extra large. I like to make sure it's going to fit me. You also get a huge discount, obviously, because they are thrifted items. So you're not buying brand new, but the quality looks brand new. Everything that I have in here is pristine, but some of these things are brand new, still tags on. So, and also on the website, when you are on there, it tells you the condition that you're buying it in. So if it's like, looks slightly used, it'll say, or if it looks pristine brand new, it would also tell you that there. And I found that to be accurate. You get things at a massively discounted rate. So something that would be like 60 bucks normally, you're gonna get for way less expensive. I'm gonna put the prices up on the screen for what they originally were versus what I paid when I'm trying on the clothes for you guys. Some of the items don't fit me perfectly, but that's just the price you pay. But if that's the case, you can return. I myself found the shopping process to be really easy, straightforward, simple. You can do it straight from your phone. I'm a shopper from a desktop. That's the way that I like to live my life. Desktop, laptop, just, I don't know. I just find it easier. That's the kind of person I am. Some of these clothes are not super summery but the thing is is I had placed an order for a bunch of summery clothes before this so I wanted some jackets to fill in I wanted some like longer sleeve things some more dressy items uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now I want to start dressing a little more not sophisticated but maybe a little bit as I sit here in a crop top sweatshirt so <laughs> just sit for me after this, we are going to get into the PR unboxing stuff. So stay tuned if you guys are in for the makeup. That stuff is coming next and there's a lot of it. And oh my goodness. So first of all, it comes in this really cute polka dot box. It makes it feel new. I just gotta say, even though the stuff is secondhand, it don't feel secondhand. It also comes wrapped in this nice polka dot tissue paper. This leather jacket in a size large from Guess. This one is a little too small for me, but I already knew it would be because I've tried on guest clothing before and hmm, I'm not no guest jeans model. I actually really like the way that this fits on me because I actually, after going to Mexico, I am so rejuvenated and revitalized in losing 30 more pounds. That is my goal. That is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set my mind to it. I'm gonna start working out. I've already been eating healthier as soon as I get home. And that is my goal. I want to lose 30 more pounds by summer. But this jacket, I actually think that if I lose another mm, 20 pounds will fit me really nicely. And as of right now, it still fits, but mm, I just think it needs a little bit more wiggle room. This, I got to be kind of like cozy clothes. I love a good oversized sweater, but I also pictured this being kind of chunky knit sweater with a pair of thigh high boots. And I figured that I could wear this as a dress in itself with maybe a pair of shorts underneath. So in case, you know, some wind blows, I really like it. This is Calvin Klein in a size extra large and 
because I think it's really cute. Now this one is Banana Republic and it is a size large. And this, I actually really like the way this fits. Zach was like, that looks so flattering on you. It could be so cute with dresses. I feel like this could be really cute and classy over a dress or with some booties and jeans kind of rolled up with like ripped jeans to like dress it down a little bit with maybe like a white, like loose fitted half tucked in shirt underneath. I don't know, I feel like this could be really cute and I would feel like an actual adult because sometimes I dress like a child and I don't know why. I kind of feel like Ross Geller in this one. Um, this is from H&M, it is a size large. It's got the leather-ish faux leather feeling like shoulder pads and um, I feel like Ross Geller, I feel like a professor, I feel like I run a college and that um, I can, I'm trying to be bookish. Cheese. Cheese. Say leather shoulder pads. Say, say Professor Geller. Professor Ross Geller. Little known fact about me, but also big known fact. Gray, black, white. Gray, black, white. Uh, gray, black, and white, the only three colors that I wear. I don't know what it is, security blanket thing? And the final item that I got is probably one of my favorites. This is from Zara as well. It is a size large and it is something I'm going to be wearing the absolute crap out of this summer. And that is these light wash overalls shorts. And I feel like these are so cute. Now, again, because, because I gained a little bit of weight this year, I have to unzip the side of these to make them fit about 10, 15 pounds. I feel like we're gonna be fitting in these real snug and cute. And I feel like right now they actually do fit me. They're just not my perfect size, but that's actually a good thing because I don't plan on staying this size. And those are all the items that I got from ThreadUps. Thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring this portion of the video. There will be a 30% off your first order link in the description of this video with my special code. Use that code in the link and you guys can save 30% off of your first purchase with ThreadUp. I think it's pretty cool that there is something like this out there. I think it was needed. I'm frugal. I don't know about you guys, but I think I'll live the rest of my life being frugal. That's just the way I was the way I was brought up. And without further ado, let's unbox some makeup and talk about makeup. So realistically, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show everything that I got here. And I'm not gonna go into super detail with all the makeup, but I do wanna tell you guys that there are some really cool things that I am excited to play with. And let me know, sound off in the comments of what you guys are excited to see of all the stuff that I show you makeup wise, because I am, I don't know if I can get to it all, okay? It's really hard. Uh, I always wanna obviously preface this by saying, I know that PR unboxings and things like that are uh, hit or miss with some people. I know that some people are like, mm, seems braggy. And other people are like, well, I wanna see what's new. So I agree with both sides. I see how it comes off braggy. I really do. Sometimes I'm like, bro, you got like 500 boxes. And the same token, I like watching them because I like to see what's newly releasing and things that I want to keep my eye out on. And I don't know. So I kind of I kind of understand both sides. Uh, if it's not for you, totally get it. Uh, I, this isn't me bragging in the slightest. Just know it's just like part of what comes with the job, like gratis when you work at Sephora or free subs when you work at Subway, which I got when I worked at Subway. It's like that, but it's with makeup. And these brands are obviously sending because they hope that we'll talk about it. So I just wanted to feature it all real quick and let you guys know some stuff that you can expect to see on my channel in the next couple of weeks. So first and foremost, I wanted to showcase this. This is the Furless Cosmetics and It's Likely Makeup collaboration. Uh, I am so excited for this. Look at this cute box. I love the colors. So if you guys did not know, Furless is a totally cruelty-free furless brush line and they are amazing. I just love Furless so much and they collaborated with Jordi or It's Likely Makeup here on YouTube to come out with a collection of brushes. I believe there are 20, yep, yeah, 20 professional makeup brushes in here that she has chosen with like custom handles and things like that as well. And I am so excited to give this a try. Congratulations Jordi, how amazing on that collaboration and congratulations Furless, it's so cool and I hope it does really well. Urban Decay sent over this which is a disco Queen. This is what the package looked like here. And it looks like there is a kind of holographic highlighter that's in like this pinky purple shade. I don't know about that. And a disco stick. So we'll see. Um, I'm not a huge fan of holographic makeup in general, so I may be gifting this or giving it away. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll love them. That's the thing about makeup. You never know. Urban Decay also sent over a troublemaker. Is it eyeshadow palette? and super fat, long-lasting, sex-proof mascara. Okay. Eyeshadow palette and travel size mascara, cool. I was definitely looking into that. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, that's what the colors look like there on the back. 
looks really pretty actually. Cool. Thank you so much, Urban Decay. Thank you, Pure. Thank you, Burless. Thank you, everyone, for all this stuff. It really means the world to me to be on PR List and to have companies trust me and want me to share their products with you guys. It really, you guys don't understand how grateful I am for all of this. It means the world to me to be able to do this as my job. I know that everyone says this stuff all the time, but I need you to know how true I am when I say I, I, I wake up every morning in disbelief that this is my job. It really doesn't feel real. How is it real? Jouer sent over some high pigment pearl lip glosses. This is what they look like here. So I'll definitely be featuring these in an upcoming video, either first impressions or standalone, but probably first impressions. Made with coconut oil, they're paraben free and non-sticky. I have used the Jouer lip toppers before and I felt like it was sticky but it also was insanely beautiful, so we'll see. Sigma sent this over and this excites me. This is the Sigma Liquid Eyeliner Pen, the Long Wear Eyeliner Pencil. They gave an eyeliner brush and a short shader brush and then a classic Wicked Gel Liner. So this is literally just a full thing of liner, which I haven't seen a brand come out with in a while. So I'm excited to give that a go. ColourPop collaborated with Ellery on a collection and wow. How beautiful is this? It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six lip colors in here, a lip liner, and then a lippy sticks. So that is so cool. I just absolutely think that is so beautiful. The colors look really nice. Although we do have some ultra mattes in here. Those are not my favorite formula from ColourPop. I love ColourPop so much, you guys know this, but the ultra satin is a lot more of a comfortable finish for me. Um, I also like their ultra glossy lips a lot, which there are some in here as well, but man, the ultra matte, I just, I don't get down with ultra matte. Maybe it's because my lips are little crescents. This is from a brand I have not heard of before, but it is Spoiled Cosmetics, and they sent over a bunch of different lip products here, and there's face products as well. What have we got? That's cute. Oh, okay. There's like pressed glitters in here. This is the Volume 1 palette. Um, and they sent over a bunch of different palettes and it looks like there's, is it highlighters? Oh my guys, all pressed glitters. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> wow. Cool, I'm excited to play with this. This is the new palette from Pure Cosmetics and BoxyCharm. Um, this, I believe people will be getting in their March BoxyCharm box. And I think I did get it in mine. And this is the colors right here, oh my gosh. Beautiful, obviously you guys know that I was just on trip with them, so I did get some new releases. These are the new four in one lip toppers. They're not paying me to talk about this, by the way, at all. They don't even, they never told me I had to say this, but it's new, so I'm gonna show you. These are the new four in one lip toppers. I'm excited about these, they're super shiny glosses. They also came out with new stick foundations. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I'm not the biggest fan of stick foundations. However, I see everyone and their mother using them. I saw Jacqueline using the, um, Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Everyone says that's their favorite. I swatched it when I went to Sephora before and I want to love them. So I gave these a try and I've been trying them for the last three days. And so far, that's what I'm wearing right now on my face. So far, very impressed. Maybe my skin has changed. It has gotten better recently. So maybe something's changed. I always felt like they greased off my face. However, I'd only tried two before. I was like, I tried the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick foundation and did not like that. And then I was like, I hate stick foundations. And then I tried like the Maybelline Fit Me one. I need to obviously give more a try because I just wrote off stick foundations as crappy because of the Makeup Forever one that I did not like. That doesn't mean they all suck. I don't know why I thought that. And so far I'm actually really liking these and they sent over all of the shades here. So there are 24 shades I believe of those. So I'm gonna give them a go. I'll do a review on my channel, either in a first impressions or in a standalone. So keep an eye out for that. The brand Super Goop, which I saw at Sephora. I had never heard of them before, but where have I been? They sent four of these. These are invincible setting powders and it looks like it comes with like a brush. There's like a little tube on the inside of here that I'm guessing like lets the product out. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try these in a first impression because they are, they, they intrigue me. And they sent over a bunch of those there to give a try. So I'm excited to see those. Looks like there's SPF 45 in the powder. Thank you so much for sending all this my way, guys. This is a bunch of products from Dior. And I mentioned these in a video that they add such a heavy scent to their products, which I'm always like, come on, 
guys i'm very sensitive to smells because i have a headache condition but i want to give these a go in a video i'm hoping that i can try these out soon in a first impressions they sent the air flash the nude air luminizer the new forever uh undercover foundation and you guys know i pretty much really liked the forever foundation um this one is so heavily scented i don't know if i can use it we'll see but thank you so much dior for sending makeup like that my way i never thought i would receive dior pr it just feels weird and unreal and also really exciting and um unworthy <laughs> matchbox sent over a box of these are the photo edit eyeshadow trios that i have shown in the past i got that big pr box of them but then these ones are glitz and so they have like super glittery shadows in them i've been liking putting glitter on my eyes again they sent over three different shades that don't want to stay in their little area but there is like a pink a blue and then a gold and black i've tried the photo edit eyeshadow trios before and i really really liked them so i think that i will definitely be using those um the only thing is i do feel that they are a bit expensive for what you get but honestly if you find one that's like totally right up your alley can't hurt this was a package from makeup forever and i was actually talking to max and nick and i was telling them that i have really dry skin and they made this little custom package for me from makeup forever that has the skin booster a lip booster um the this like nourishing primer which i'm not a huge primer person but i might try it some ultra hd foundations um some powder and then the mist and fix which is so good i love the mist and fix thank you so much max and nick from makeup forever it means so much to me that you guys sent that out and i appreciate the custom package it just makes me feel so special ColourPop also sent over a bunch of new Things. So these are the Superstar Loose Pigment Shadows. There is two, four, six, eight, twelve. There are twelve different shades here. And these are what they sound like. They're little loose pigments. So here's what the packaging looks like. You open it up and then obviously there's a little plastic guy covering it. Your loose pigment that you can shake out into the cap or elsewhere and uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of loose pigments, but lately I've been wanting to experiment with them more because they're so beautiful. And when I did my Jaclyn Hill video that you guys most likely saw, uh, that one I I used a pigment in that. And now I'm so intrigued with pigments again because I used to be huge into them. I have a drawer right here that's just full of them. So I want to give them a go again and ColourPop coming out with them is super exciting because you guys know ColourPop's probably my favorite brand. They also came out with these. These are Luster Dust from ColourPop and these really excite me. They are a shimmery, I mean it's like a pigment essentially, but they came out with a bunch of different colors, six different colors that I have here that range from like light skin all the way down to deep and these can be used as like a loose highlighter essentially. So Luster Dust from ColourPop. Makeup Addiction Cosmetics sent over a giant box full of stuff with a bunch of brushes. I've heard Jack, Makeup by Jack, talk about Makeup Addiction and say that they're so good. So I cannot wait to try all this makeup because I've heard of them but I've never tried anything from them before. So I am so excited to try Makeup Addiction products. Maybe I'll do a full face Makeup Addiction if you guys are excited about that. And I am. Let me know if you guys are like, if any of this really intrigues you. Bioderma sent over shower oil for very, very dry to irritated sensitive skin. What are you trying to say, Bioderma? Uh, but look at this. It's a giant thing of shower oil. And then what's this? Intensive ultra soothing balm for very dry, irritated, sensitive skin. Okay, I feel like you're trying to say something and it's very hurtful. And this is a towel. Cool. Thank you so much, Bioderma. That is... So thoughtful and I am excited to give it a try because Bioderma micellar cleansing water one of my favorites and I pretty much use it every day to take off my makeup two more packages we're getting through guys and then I got the violet Voss like a boss eyeshadow palette I have never used violet Voss before so I was so excited when I got this in the mail because I've never tried anything from them but I've heard nothing but good things so if you guys have tried violet Voss before please let me know if you guys want me to use this in a standalone video or in a first impressions etc I am excited to give this a try. And then the final package here. Sorry, I just flew through that so quickly. This one is from Huda Beauty. I have no idea what it is because I don't know what they've recently launched. 3D highlighter palette, bronze sands edition. Oh, she sent all of them. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is the 
golden sands edition and the pink sands and then there is the um bronze sands edition so basically you've got different skin tones for highlighter in here the bronze sands is the newest release which is suited for deep skin tones which i think is so great that she is catering to different skin tones with each release looks like this could be suited for light to medium skin tones this one is the pink sands edition bronze sands Ooh, yes beautiful could you imagine this on like gorgeous deep complexion <gasps> how pretty is that benefit sent over a package this is their summer camp edition brow search so they're doing the benefit brow search so if you guys don't know what that is you submit photos and um let me just take a quick here win fifty thousand dollars and become a benefit brow ambassador so camp benefit info two posts are required to enter the competition recreate two of benefits brow styles and share the final looks on instagram 20 finalists would join Benefit in beautiful upstate New York for an endless summer camp at Camp Benefit from June 18th to 22nd. All-star beauty gurus who will coach their teams to finish during Camp Benefit. Grand prize winner will receive a contract with Benefit plus social exposure and major brand love and a $50,000 cash prize. And they sent over a bunch of brow products along with it. And you guys know I love Benefit brow products. I put them in my yearly favorites. They're just really nice. I feel like they're quick on the go, easy. Thank you so much to every brand who sent out everything. Thank you again for ThreadUp for sponsoring that portion of the video. And don't forget to click on the link in the description of this video if you guys are interested in purchasing from ThreadUp, you can get 30% off of your first purchase. I am so grateful. I have to tell all of you, just thank you so much for supporting me and being so incredible. And thank you to all of these brands for sending this stuff my way. It does not escape me how lucky I am to have this job, how lucky I am to receive this makeup. For many, many years, I purchased all this stuff myself and it gets to be a lot, but I, it's such a passion of mine to show you guys makeup and to share beauty and confidence and everything with you guys. And I love doing this and I do not take it for granted each day. I thank God and I thank each one of you for being here for me and for supporting me along this journey and for just, you guys are amazing. So I thank you guys so much for everything and for being so amazing and supportive. And I will see you at my next video. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is no recording. Is that how you test your mics? Yeah. Uh, do a twirl. Just do one. Can you see my butt? Let me see. Nope. Good. Looks cute. <laughs> Shush. You look wonderful. You are being very sweet and hurtful. Hurtful? <laughs> He's making me wear this without a shirt underneath it for a sponsored I, video. I think it looks cute. <laughs> Oh, not he stand did under not, people's feet, Demi. He did not mean to. It was an accident. <laughs> it was. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. You forgive. He oh, does. He forgives. Look at him. I'm sorry, Bob. Daddy's so sorry, you just buddy. Just don't stand underneath my feet. I wonder where I get stuff done. Because I just lay right there. It is literally like. Just, it's just an appendage. I can't even feel it.